Good morning, lovelies. <laughs> so here I am with a new vlog. I'm getting ready to go get, oh, my keys fell, my hair done dead. And then uh, hopefully some other errands today that are pretty exciting. I will try and bring you guys along if I end up going to do those things. Uh, yeah, should be a pretty interesting day. I possibly see a nap in my future. <laughs> but uh, I have a lot of stuff to do. And I don't think it's supposed to rain today. So I want to try and get some outside filming done. I've been trying to film this lookbook, like spring into summer looks, for weeks. And it like every day I'm free to film outside, it pours. Uh, the other day, a couple days ago, I was able to film two looks outside before it completely started pouring. So <laughs> we will see what happens there. Hopefully I will be able to get some of that filming done if it stays dry today. And hopefully I will be able to get some of my errands done today as well. Hair done did, hair done did. And it's starting to rain, so guess what? Weather's not gonna stick for me. It's okay, I have to do some errands anyway. So I was a little bit of a fail at the vlogging because I just ran to two other places and then I totally spaced off vlogging there. Um, I went to a tattoo shop to get look through some artist uh, books and get an appointment for a consultation, which I did. And then I also went to um, a piercing shop um, for nothing crazy, but my ear, my ear lobes right here are already pierced. I got them pierced when I was a kid. And they've like closed, so I need to get them like re-pierced because I'd actually like to wear earrings, but I literally can't stick anything through them. It's like totally closed off. So I'm actually doing that later tonight. So maybe I'll be smart and remember to vlog that. And then my tattoo consultation is uh, tomorrow because I'm doing something custom, so it's not like something pick off the wall. Um, it's something custom, so I need to meet with him and he has to sketch it out and everything, and then he'll give me a design. I'm super excited. I actually got off my ass and went and did my errands that I've been waiting and forever to do. I got my ears pierced. I actually got them pierced in like a kind of a different spot. You can kind of see my old piercing, like when I got them pierced when I was like eight. Uh, but they were the old holes or slits or whatever they are these days looked kind of weird. So he kind of moved it a little bit and I'm totally cool with that. I have no memory of when I got my ears pierced as a kid and uh, that didn't hurt at all. People that have told me getting your ears pierced hurts, I think they were lying. So I did also go shopping today, but by chance, if my friend is watching this vlog, I cannot show you what I got her <laughs> because I want it to be a surprise when she receives the package. So yes, how my ears pierced again. I'm exhausted. I haven't been to sleep. I think I might have been up for 27 hours. Let's not talk about it. I think I might have a snack and I might go to sleep. Hey guys, so I went out and I had breakfast today and then I went to my tattoo consultation. Uh, the guy's super cool and uh, liked the things I had in mind and thinks he can totally just sketch up something for me. And I'm actually surprised I am going to go in for the tattoo at the end of this week. He has space open, so I'm super excited to see it and to get it done. That's going to be super fun for me. I've been thinking about um, this tattoo for a bit now as well and then recently I just really concrete wanted to get it so I'm really glad that I got myself up and did not procrastinate. I'm such a procrastinator you guys. I'm super glad and I'm very excited to get it done. Slept perfectly fine with my ears, don't mind my headphones, with my ears last night. My, they're like don't hurt at all. So, yep, just running a couple errands, and then I will probably head home and, I don't know, 
work on some stuff? Do I have stuff to work on? I might. Who knows? I usually always have things to work on, but I just thought that I would uh, touch base and let you guys know that the consultation went really good, and I'm excited to see what he draws up for me, and I don't have to wait that long. Sometimes, you know, tattoo artists are, like, booked out, so you have to wait a little bit to get the actual thing done, but he had space open, and I'm like, yes, I will take it. Let's do this. So unexpectedly, the sun came out today and it stopped raining, so I'm trying to film the rest of that lookbook that I've mentioned a couple times. Um, the only problem is <laughs> the ground is soaked because it's been pouring so much. So I'm having to step very carefully because there's been a couple times where I've almost ate shit. And I'm one of those people that I'm gonna save my camera instead of myself, so most likely I would totally fall flat on my ass or my face, but I would hold the camera up and save the camera. That's what's important. Look at the bright yellow thing in the sky. It's come out. <laughs> Don't we think that this lipstick is like perfect with this dress? It's like the perfect color match, I think. Good morning, lovelies. I clearly just made a smoothie. Quick question, would you guys be interested in me doing like a full making smoothie video, etc., but like in an ASMR style for my main channel? Let me know if I should do like a smoothie making video. Hi guys! So I'm just doing some errands before I go in for my tattoo appointments. I also, there was a couple things I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I figured since I was running around doing errands, I could multitask. So, uh, some of you have been asking about, like, an update for, like, my medical stuff and everything. So, there's no change so far. I went to see my regular doctor, and she approved, um, the referral to the neurologist. And I have an appointment with the neurologist next week. So, I mean, there's nothing really changed. I highly doubt there's gonna be anything that they're gonna find. Um, since everyone is believing that it was just like the start of me getting migraines, so really going to see the neurologist is like just to set, put, set a uh, game plan for me in case uh, I get future migraines. So that's the update with my health. I haven't got a migraine since the first one, so that's good. And then I did want to talk to you guys about the whole YouTube dying situation. Um, just briefly, I thought about doing a whole video on it on my main channel or on this channel, but I decided I didn't want to. <laughs> um, if you don't know, like YouTube is going through a lot of changes. A lot of the um, the advertisers have pulled. So people that like make money from ads, which is a lot of YouTubers. Um, have seen like a, a, a cut in their earnings. Which, I mean, it's pretty much everyone is seeing like cuts in views and earnings and all those sorts of things like that. Um, what I wanted to touch on for you guys, um, just because there's been so many different videos posted, um, not just in like ASMR videos, like throughout, like all YouTubers have been posting about it. Um, I have no intention of leaving YouTube um, <laughs> let me explain. Um, some people are talking about leaving YouTube um, because of their earnings, which is understandable. Um, a lot of people do this as their like full-time job and everything, and um, it's part of my job too. It's not all of my job, but it's part of my job too. But um, some people are talking about like leaving YouTube or they don't want to do it anymore. So I just wanted to touch base and share that as long as YouTube allows me to post videos, I will be posting videos, um, no matter the ad cut, if that makes sense. So here's the thing, um, having ad revenue is very helpful, like it would be for anyone, having like a second kind of income is very nice. But my current thoughts on it are, um, I didn't start my Calming Escape page or this Canary page because of the ad revenue, so I'm not going to be stopping if it starts to go away. Um, obviously, um, YouTube is like going in and out of things. We don't know what YouTube will be like next month or anything, but I just thought that I would share with you guys that making videos is a huge passion of mine and I don't foresee myself stopping just because ad revenue 
is disappearing. Um, things will probably change a little bit in my life and I'll have to make adjustments in my life, but I've always kind of had little backup plans and other side things that I personally do because I've never, you know, YouTube is not exactly a reliable source of income because it's all about which ads play and <laughs> which, how many views you get. So I've always had like other side things and other thoughts of backup plans and everything. So moral of the story is I wanted to let my viewers know that I will not be leaving YouTube. As long as they allow us to post videos, I will continue to post videos on both channels. I enjoy vlogging with you guys. I love making my different ASMR videos. Um, I love doing my new series on this channel, like our Bizarre and Unusual World. I love making these videos, guys. So I honestly have no intention of stopping. So um, that's just what I wanted to touch base with you guys on. So um, I know a lot of viewers within the ASMR community are worried that a bunch of people are going to start disappearing and that might happen but it might also not happen we don't know what's gonna happen like YouTube is like so up and down and maybe YouTube will fix their things and more advertisers will come back who knows but uh, I'm not going anywhere Hey guys, so I'm sorry if it's a little noisier than usual because I have my window down because it is actually surprisingly really hot today. I actually kind of want to take off my sweatshirt, but um, my sweatshirt feels nice on my arm. <laughs> so I'm fully tatted, it's finished and all that jazz. I love it, I love it so much. I just grabbed some lunch, I'm super hungry. I had a smoothie this morning because I knew that that would be really good, like, good stuff for me before I went in to get a tattoo. I think one of the biggest things people do before they go in, like a mistake, is like not eating. Cause then they like start to get nauseous. Like you have to have something in your system. So I knew a smoothie would do really good for me. Um, and then I always have water with me if it's either while I'm like getting the tattoo session or afterwards, like I have this in my car and I like down the whole thing afterwards. I'm always really thirsty after I get tattoos. So, that's my, that's my tips, you know, eat something, like not a huge meal, but eat something and have some water or, you know, most tattoo places will have water for you if you need it there too. But I'm super hungry since the smoothie was like early this morning. So I grabbed some Taco Bell and I am going to go home and eat it. Hi guys, welcome to a new day. So today I got up pretty early and I went and got some delicious bagels for breakfast and some coffee. And now I'm back home and I'm piecing together a little gift for my friend that I'm sending off to her. I won't show you guys any of the thingy, any of the goodies, just in case she happens to be watching this vlog. I'm not sure. <laughs> I want her to be surprised. Tattoo is doing good, feeling great. Got up and took care of it today. It's feeling fantastic and looking wonderful. Very, very happy. I had sunglasses on earlier because it kind of covered my face. I don't have any makeup on except for my lipstick. So I never know if it looks weird to not have any makeup on except for lipstick. But right now, like, you know, my face is pretty clear. So, but I look a little tired, but that's okay. Hey guys. So I just posted um, my tattoo pictures on social media for you guys to see because I posted just the my wrapped arm yesterday and everyone was like, where's the tattoo? So I posted those today. I did a little baby photo shoot with it. I just wanted to uh, document it while it's like super fresh and before it starts like, you know, peeling and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I like how the pictures came out. I will insert them here for you guys. So it's actually a piece of a quote, um, stay afraid but do it anyway. Um, it's a quote from Carrie Fisher that has a lot of meaning to me for a lot of different things in my life. 
so I thought it was very appropriate, but um, the full quote is, stay afraid but do it anyway. Uh, what's important is the action. You don't have to wait to be confident, just do it and eventually the confidence will follow. So it's a really great quote and really great lady and I'm really happy with this piece. But yeah, I'm really happy with it and how it looks and how the design came out and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little um, tidbits. Hi, kitty. Uh, in this vlog of, you know, like sharing a little bit at the tattoo place and like, you know, the journey of getting this tattoo, you could say. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I know it was like kind of like a lot of different clips like here, there, doing a million different things. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, lovelies.